morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is in the world where you are. Talking after three men of experience, and I would say diverse experience and erudition, I thought there is nothing more I might say. On second thought, let me share a bit about the conference theme, My Own Way. I have always thought that Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs, the universal goals that UNITAR and the rest of the UN promote are a work of genius. The Sustainable Development Goals, however and whichever way one looks at the 17 goals, end up concluding that one goal is related to another, that one unit is part of a bigger whole. The goals indeed cross cut each other. People are part of the planet and that whatever people do, harmful or good, impact on the planet. In turn, when people do harm, the planet can take revenge on people. The nexus between people and planet seems a magical yet very challenging concept. This conference hopes to intently examine and unravel this nexus. Surely, the challenge for us scholars and development actors is to locate how and in what manner our policy decision and the management of such policies could be scientific, policy and action oriented. Part of the challenges to policy decision and action is first to establish data, evidence, narratives, and analysis, which weave through and which level up to define a total agenda that would push back the detriments of human mobility and climate crisis. We recognize that the challenges to achieve a kinder mobility environment nexus is yet far from ideal. This conference is an occasion to look intently into the link between human mobility and climate action. Ultimately, the understanding should lead us to how capacity building could boost and complement policy action. This conference offers an opportunity for us all from various sectors, profession, location and circumstances to engage each other. Whilst respecting our diversity and lenses, given our background, experience and expertise, we are hopeful that we emerge united in our aspiration for a concord between the environment and human mobility and the complementation of policy and action on the sustainable development challenges. In this conference, we wish to highlight the major messages through our sub themes, namely, first, urban governance and planning. It focuses on the significance of social spatial dynamics of population and towns. Urban areas are where growth of population is significant and therefore important to do strategic planning, resilience building, and mitigation. Likewise, urban areas are the locus of climate migrants. Second, social inclusion. This grounds the human rights framework for environmental migrants either within territories or cross border. Human rights serves as the platform of social protection that would ensure safe, orderly, and regular human mobility. Third, environmental sustainability. This explores best practices in climate adaptation, mitigation, and resilience building, and sharply fills in a response to climate challenges. With these three focal sub-themes, the conference hopes to send the collective message of our participants, organizations, and institutions, towns and cities, 
on a possible unified call to action that address the complex challenges of population movement, environmental change, and climate crisis. Indeed, as we promote and protect human rights, the planet has an equal right to its protection so that in turn, it protects and promotes mankind's well-being. Finally, dear friends, I wish to thank our co-organizers led by UNITAR, the Philippine Department of Foreign Affairs, the CIFAL Global Network, which counts the CIFAL Shanghai, CIFAL Jeju, and CIFAL Newcastle, the International Organization for Migration, or IOM Philippines, the UP Resilience Institute, and the Center for Neighborhood Studies. Their contributions are in no small measure. I also recognize and thank our media partners, namely Business World, ABS-CBN News, DZMM Teleradio, and CNN Philippines. This conference would not have been possible without the hard work of our UPC FAL friends and staff, and of course, of Professor Rika Abad. You are indeed the wind beneath our wings. I am especially grateful to the UNRC, the DFA Secretary Chodoro Loxin Jr., IOM Chief of Mission Christine Davy, and my Galingpook Foundation family. Thanks indeed all for a fantastic collaboration. On behalf of the University of the Philippines and CIFAL Philippines, I welcome you all to this conversation and engagement. Maraming salamat. Good morning. <laughs>